Namaste. Welcome to Brishon Concept Teaching. Today we are solving the problems on class 10 NCRT syllabus. And the chapter is polynomial. Exercise 9.3 Second main questions. Check whether the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial by dividing the second polynomial by the first polynomial. Before solving this one, first let me come to the word factor. Okay? What do you mean by factor? Now let me explain this by using the simple example. Okay? Now tell me, is 5 is a factor of 10? Tell me, 5 is a factor of 10? Yes. Because when we divide 10 by 5, we will get 0 as remainder. Isn't it? 0 as remainder. Therefore, 5 it is a factor of 10. But 9, 9 is a factor of 10. 10. No, because when we will divide 10 by 9, 9 ones are 9 and 1 is the remainder. Isn't it? Same. So, 9 it is not a factor of 10. Isn't it? We have to get 0 as remainder. Then only we can say that the given number is a factor of the given number. Right? Hope you have understood the meaning of factor. Now in the question what did they ask you? Check whether the first polynomial. Which is the first polynomial here? This is the first polynomial. Is a factor of the second polynomial. This is the second polynomial. Isn't it? By dividing the second polynomial by the first polynomial. So we have to divide the second polynomial by the first polynomial and we have to say whether this is a factor of this one. After dividing, if we get 0 as remainder, then only we can say that this one is the factor of this one. Isn't it? Suppose if we did not get 0 as remainder, then the given, this one is not the factor of this one. Isn't it? Hope you have understood this one. Let us solve this. First, let me rub the board. Now, let us solve the first question. We know that we have to divide the second polynomial by the first polynomial. This is our second polynomial. This is our first polynomial. We have to divide this one by this one. So, t square minus 3. 2 t to the power of 4 plus 3 t cube. Minus 2t square minus 9t minus 12. We know that this is the divisor, isn't it? And this is the dividend. Now, which is the first term of the dividend? Is the first term of the dividend or p of x is what? 2 to the power of 4. And the first term of the divisor or g of x is what? t square. Right? Now compare the degree. Say t to the power of 4 to the power of square. This is larger. So we can divide. Now our question is which number or which variable we have to multiply here. To get this one as answer. Say t to the power of 4 is there. Here t square is there. So what can I multiply to get t to the power of 4? I can multiply t square. But here 1 is there. Here 2 is there. I have to take 2. Then what have to do? 2. 2 t square. For this t square. If I multiply 2 t square. We will get 2 t to the power of 4. Isn't it? Means we will get the dividend. 
So we have to multiply this one by 2t square. See, 2t square we have to multiply. Look at this. Plus into plus is plus. t square into 2t square is what? 2t to the power of 4. 2t to the power of 4. Minus into plus is minus. 3 into 2t square is what? That is 6t square minus 6t square. Isn't it? But look at this. t cube is missing. Therefore, let us write 0. Hope you have understood this one. Let me explain this once again. t square into 2t square is 2t to the power of 4. Minus into plus is minus. 3 into 2 is 6 t square. Okay. t cube term we didn't get. So we have put 0. Plus plus. We, here we are subtracting. In division we will subtract. So let us change the sign. Plus we will change it to minus. Then minus we will change it to plus. Here no need. Now, plus 2 to the power of 4, minus 2 to the power of 4 cancels. Then, t t cube minus 0 is nothing but what? 3 t cube. Then, minus t t square plus 6 t square is what? We have to do the subtraction. Isn't it? That is, plus 4 t square. Right? Then, we have to bring these two terms down. That is minus 19 minus 12. Okay. Now, what's the next step? Again, we have to compare the first term of the dividend and the first term of the divisor. See, the first term of the dividend is 3t cube. Divisor. It remains the same. That is t square. Compare the degree. t cube, t square. So we can divide. Because the degree is smaller. When you will compare, here the degree is small. Comparing to the degree of the dividend. Now our question is, what we have to multiply to get 3 t cube as answer? What we have to multiply here? t square is there. To get t cube, we have to multiply 1 t. Right? Say, 1 is there. But we have to get 3. Therefore, here, we can multiply it by 3 t. So that our answer is 3 t cube. Isn't it? Therefore, we have to multiply this 3 t. Plus 3 t. Look at this. Plus into plus is plus. T square into 3T is what? 3T cube. 3T cube. Minus into plus is minus. 3 into 3T is 9T. Isn't it? Minus 9T. T square is missing. So, no problem. Right? Plus 0 here. Now, let us change the sign. Here it is plus. Nothing is there means plus. We will change it to minus. Plus, we will change it to minus. Minus, we will change it to plus. Okay? Plus 3t cube, minus 3t cube, it cancels. Plus 4t square. Minus 0, it is nothing but plus 4t square. Minus 90, plus 90. It is what? Cancels. 0. Then, minus 12. Bring it down. 4t square minus 12. Now again we have to compare the first term of the dividend and the first term of the divisor. The first term of the dividend is what? 4t square. And the divisor is t square. Now tell me which one we have to multiply here to get 4t square as answer. 4t square as answer. t square already there. We have to multiply it by 4. Right? So let us multiply it by 4. Plus 4. T square into 4 is what? 
40 square minus into plus is what minus 3 4 some 12 that is minus 12 in division we will change the sign here plus plus is there we will change it to minus here minus we will change it to plus plus 40 square minus 40 square it will cancel minus 12 plus 12 it will cancel 0 is the remainder. Isn't it? 0 is the remainder. Means what? When we will divide this one by t square minus 3, we are getting 0 as remainder. What it means? If we get 0 as remainder, it means that t square minus 3, it is the factor of this one. That is 2 to the power of 4 plus 3t cube. Minus 2t square minus 9t minus 12. This is the factor. You have to write. Yes. T square minus 3. It is the factor of. T to the power of 4. Plus 3t cube. Minus 2t square minus 9t minus 12. Okay. Hope you have understood. Let us move on to the second question. Now. Let us do the second problem. We know that. This is our second polynomial. And this is our first polynomial. We have to divide the second polynomial by the first polynomial. And whether we have to say that this is a factor of this one or not. If we get 0 as remainder, then we can say that the given first polynomial is the factor of the second polynomial. So let us check that. Okay. x square plus 3x plus 1 divided by to the power of 3x to the power of 4 plus 5x cube minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2. Here now the first term of the dividend or p of x is what? 3x to the power of 4. Isn't it? I will write here dividend. You can write p of x. That is 3x to the power of 4. g of x or divisor. First term of the divisor g of x is x square. Isn't it? First term is x square. Now compare the degree. x to the power of 4, x to the power of square. Yes. The degree of the dividend is more. So we can divide. Now tell me which number I have to multiply to the divisor to get 3x to the power of 4 as answer? So, x to the power of square is there. To get x to the power of 4, I have to multiply it by x square. But here 1 is there, here 3 is there. So, we have to multiply it by 3x square. So, that we will get 3x to the power of 4. So, we have to multiply it by 3x square. Isn't it? 3x square plus into plus is plus x square into 3x square is 3x to the power of 4 plus into plus is plus 3x into 3x square is what 9x cube that is plus 9x cube right then plus 1 sorry I have left here plus 1 same Plus 1. Plus into plus is plus. 1 into 3x square is 3x square. That is plus 3x square. Plus 3x square. Okay. Now. Plus plus. Since in division we will subtract. So write minus. Now look at this. Plus 3x to the power of. Plus 3 into x to the power of 4. Minus 3 into x to the power of 4, it will get cancelled. Okay? Plus 5x cube, minus 9x cube. That is, we have to subtract. Is that it? That is 4x cube. 9 is the bigger one and the sign is minus. Then, minus 7x square, minus 3x square. That is, minus 10x square. Right? Then, plus 2x, plus 2. Bring it down. Now, 
Again, the first term of dividend is what? 4x cube. That is P of x is 4x cube. Say, write the symbol also. Minus 4x cube. And the first term of the G of x or divisor is x square. Now, what I have to multiply here to get minus 4x cube as answer? First of all, we have to multiply. We have to multiply minus. Right? Then, 4 and 1. So, we have to multiply 4. x square, x cube is there. To get x cube, I have to multiply it by x. That is, when we will multiply this minus 4x to this x square, we will get minus 4x cube. Isn't it? Therefore, we have to multiply this minus 4x. Minus 4x. Plus into minus is what? Minus. X square into 4x is what? Minus 4x to the power of cube. Minus 4x to the power of cube. See X square into minus 4x is minus 4x cube. Plus into minus is what? Minus. 3x into 4x is what? 12x square. Minus 12 x square. Don't get confused here. Plus into minus is minus. 3 4s are 12. x into x is x square. Okay. Then plus into minus is minus. 1 into 4x is minus 4x. Minus 4x. So plus into minus is minus. 1 into 4x is 4x. We know that in division we will subtract so we will change the sign. Minus 4x cube plus 4x cube it will get cancelled. Right? Minus 10x square plus 12x square. That is 2x square. Here 12 is the greater number and it has plus sign. Therefore it is 2x square. Plus 2x plus 4x is what? Plus 6x. Then plus 2. Bring this down. Okay. 2x square plus 6x plus 2. Again, we have to compare the degree of the dividend and divisor. See, P of x. The first term is 2x square. And g of x. And the first term is x square x square x square the degree is same so we can divide now tell me which number i have to multiply here to get 2x square as answer we have already x square x square so no need of variable only we have to multiply 2 we will get 2x square isn't it therefore multiply this 2 okay so x square into 2 is 2x square then plus into plus is plus. 3x into 2 is 6x. Plus 6x. Then plus into plus is plus. 1 into 2 is 2. Right? Now look at this carefully. Plus into plus is plus. x square into 2 is 2x square. Plus into plus is plus. 3x into 2 is what? 6x. Plus 1 into 2. Is 2. Now, change the sign. Plus 2x square minus 2x square, it will get cancelled. Plus 6x minus 6x, it will get cancelled. Plus 2 minus 2, it will get cancelled. 0 is the remainder. Since 0 is the remainder, we can say that the first polynomial, it is the factor of the second polynomial. Okay? Hope you have understood. Let us move on to the third question. Now let us solve the third question. Say this is our first polynomial. This is our second polynomial. We have to say that whether the first polynomial is the factor of the second polynomial. Say how we can check this. When we will divide second polynomial by the first polynomial. We have to get 0 as remainder. Right. Then only we can say that. This is a factor of this one. 
So let us divide x cube minus 3x plus 1 divided by x to the power of 5 minus 4x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 1. Okay. Now look at this. x to the power of 5, x to the power of cube. Let us compare the first term of the dividend and the first term of the divisor. That is dividend. Or we can say it as P of X. First term is X to the power of 5. Divisor. The first term of G of X or divisor is X cube. Isn't it? When you will compare the degree. The degree of the divisor is smaller comparing to the degree of the dividend. Right? So that we can divide. But see here, which number we have to multiply here to get x5 as answer? Already we have x cube. We need 5. That is, we can multiply x square to get x5 as answer. Isn't it? Therefore, let us multiply this by x to the power of square. x square. Plus into plus is plus. X cube into x square is x to the power of 5. Minus into plus is minus. 3x into x square is what? 3x cube minus 3x cube. Minus 3x into x square is minus 3x cube. Now look at this. Plus 1 into x square is what? Plus x square. Okay? Now, in division we will subtract. So, we are changing the sign. Plus x to the power of 5. Minus x to the power of 5 cancels. Minus 4x cube plus 3x cube is what? Minus x cube. Then, plus x square minus x square. It will get cancelled. Isn't it? Then the remaining term is plus 3x plus 1. Now we again compare the first term of the dividend and the first term of the divisor. Dividend or P of X. First term is minus X cube. And the divider, sorry, divisor, G of X. And the first term is X cube. Say, the degree is same. No problem, we can divide. Then what I have to multiply here. To get minus x cube as answer. x cube already it is there. So we have to multiply it by minus 1. When we will multiply it by minus 1. We will get minus x cube as answer. Therefore let us multiply it by minus 1. Say now. Plus into minus. Is what? Minus. x cube into 1. Is what? Minus x cube. Minus into minus is plus. 3x into 1 is 3x. Plus 3x. Then plus 1 into minus 1 is what? Plus into minus is minus. 1 into 1 is 1. Minus 1. In division we will subtract. So we are changing the sign. Isn't it? Minus x cube plus x cube it will get cancelled. Plus 3x minus 3x it will get cancelled. Plus 1 plus 1 is what? 2. We got 2 as remainder. Since we didn't get 0 as remainder, this is not the factor of the second polynomial. See, here, we got 2 as remainder. Therefore, the first polynomial, it is not the factor of the second polynomial. Okay? Hope you have understood. Stay connected. Keep supporting. Thank you.